It's Tuesday, March 8th, 2022, and this is Cafe Devo, coming to you almost live from First Congregational Church right here at the point of Saginaw and Washington Streets in beautiful downtown Duran, Michigan. I'm Pastor Steve Wood. (laughs) That's my pal Bugsy over there in the corner, and I hope your Tuesday is going well. It is day six of the Lenten season as we go through our devotional book, Into the Wilderness. We invite all of you to join us. And by the way, if you want a copy of this book, it's not too late to get in on it. You can pick one up off the literature table at First Congregational Church. Next time you're here, stop by the office through the week. We'll be glad to give you one. Uh, You can also find a PDF version of it on our website at www.duranchurch.com. Or you can simply continue tuning into Cafe Devo as we'll be using these devotions every day throughout the Lenten season, except, of course, for Sundays. Reading this morning from the book of Luke, chapter 5, verses 27 through 32. After this, Jesus went out and saw a tax collector by the name of Levi sitting at his tax booth. Follow me, Jesus said to him. And Levi got up, left everything, and followed him. Then Levi held a great banquet for Jesus at his house, and a large crowd of tax collectors and others were eating with them. But the Pharisees and the teachers of the law, who belonged to their sect, complained to his disciples, Why do you eat and drink with tax collectors and sinners? Jesus answered them, It is not the healthy who need a doctor, but the sick. I have come not to call the righteous, but sinners to repentance. Focus today on God's mighty power. (laughs) That's a big task. When you consider that God is omnipotent, uh, all-powerful, he's not just most powerful, he is all-powerful. On the other hand, you and I are dust. It's okay. As a father has compassion on his children, so the Lord has compassion on those who fear him. For he knows how we are formed, and he remembers that we are dust. Psalm 103, verses 13 and 14. Part of the meaning behind Lent is that we are nothing but dust, except for the mighty power of Jesus. The same power that wrote, that caused Jesus to rise from the dead resurrects us. 1 Thessalonians 4, 14. And because of his mighty power, you and I will live on, not just in the memories of others and not because of something we have accomplished, but in eternal reality with Jesus and all the others who follow him. Not only that, but Jesus has given us access to his mighty power in, in this life, the power to resist sin, the power to overcome the lies of the devil, the power to live as children of God, the power to show his love to others. Paul put it this way in Ephesians chapter 1, I pray that the eyes of your heart may be enlightened in order that you may know the hope to which he has called you, the riches of his glorious inheritance in his holy people, and his incomparably great power for all of us who believe. That power is the same as the mighty strength he exerted when he raised Christ from the dead and seated him at his right hand in the heavenly realms, far above all rule and authority, power and dominion, and every name that is invoked, not only in the present age, but also in the age to come. And God placed all things under his feet and appointed him to be head over everything for the church which is his body, the fullness of him who fills everything in every way. So here's your thought to meditate on today. 
Jesus is mighty. And for our daily Lenten fast, today we fast blowing past sorrow. Honor the losses in your life today. Slow down and be present in your emotions. Sit with Jesus. Sit with sorrow if you feel it. And let loss do its eternal work in your soul as the Holy Spirit continues to shape you. Father, we come before you now in the name of Christ, and we thank you for the day you've given to us for this Tuesday. We love you today, Father, and we thank you that we understand, Lord, there are times when life is so difficult, when grief and sorrow threaten to overtake us and leave us in the wilderness, but you will not leave us there. You are there with us, and just like you left the wilderness, we will leave it too. Bless us today, Lord. Guide our steps. We pray in the name of Jesus. Amen. Well, that's going to do it for us on this Tuesday edition of Cafe Devo, day six of the Lenten season. I'm Pastor Steve Wood signing off for now. God bless you all, and I'll see you tomorrow. (laughs) 